and welcome to another division video in this video i will present you my firecrest build yes i'm on the pts server and i was using the classified firecrest build the new one for clearing out the napalm not napalm warren gate legendary mission and yeah i'll show it to you just clear quickly these guys here from the supply drop and as soon as I clear it out, you will see my fire build. Why I messed it up? It's really fun to use. Honestly, I have to say, I don't think the six piece is really worth using, in my opinion at least. So I was just using. Yeah, burn, baby, burn. I was just using the five piece with an inventive backpack. But more to this now. So as you see here, five piece firecrest classified with a inventive backpack. Yes, and I didn't. Okay, I forgot to min max this <laughs> backpack. Anyway, it worked pretty well, so it doesn't matter. You will see the gameplay. I will link. I will put the link to the video at the end of this one, so you can check it out as well. But let's go right into this one. As you see, over 10,000 electronics, so spec everything it's possible into electronics. And pretty high toughness as well. Let's start with the chest piece. Chest piece, skill haste and health. And the ammo capacities rolled on electronics, of course. And the mods I'm using here is skill haste and electronics. Let's go ahead to the mask. Mask, of course, I don't have to say which gear set. Everything is classified Firecrest except the backpack. Rolled into skill power and damage to elites. And of course, again, electronics and uh, skill power electronics mod on this one. Mm -hmm. Knee pads, nothing special here as well. So electronics, skill power and damage to elites are the most important things, uh, especially in PvE. Of course, for PvP, you should reroll damage to elites and damage to elites to burn resistance. Then you would have a really god roll, in my opinion. Disrupt resistance instead of bleed, but yeah, with the Pred mark, I think D3 would be pretty nice for PvP as well. So, for the mods, again, skill haste and electronics, and the prototype performance mod is uh, turret damage. I think almost a must with Firecrest. So the holster I'm using all over the board, as you see, high stats, rolled as max on the optimization station and skill haste as well for this one. Mm -hmm. Then the gloves, as you see here, skill haste, health and kill, LMG damage and electronics roll. These are pretty nice to use. I could reroll LMG damage to AR damage as well. But because I used uh, Big Alejandro on this set pretty often, I rolled it to LMG damage to do a little bit more damage with my weapon as well. And the backpack, yes, I rolled, uh, I have the inventive backpack where you get 15% increased skill power while on full health, rolled on electronics, skill power and disorient resistance. Disorient, of course, I would like to have burn resistance or disrupt resistance or whatever, or ammo capacity. But yeah, this is what I got on this character, so it doesn't matter that much. So quickly to the uh, Firecrest build. You, most of you know it already, I think. The two-piece bonus is still the same as now, the three-piece as well, and four-piece too. So two-piece scope bonus, you have three more uh, flame grenades in your backpack, which means five of them. Then the three-piece bonus, 15% uh, reach from your turret and 30% more damage with your turret and 4%, 15% more damage with your weapon against burning targets. Then 6-piece, this is really really interesting for you to use, is one, not the first one, one grenade more in your stash, or yeah, not in your stash, in your pocket, 5% more range and 20% more damage with your turret. And 6-piece bonus would be bullets have a 2% chance to cause an enemy to burn. And burning targets can cause a fiery explosion when killed once every 10 seconds. NPCs set on fire by your flame turret will burn 25% longer for every 2000 electronics. 
So let's start at the last one. This would mean I have 10,000 electronics. So 5 times 25% means 125%. Of course, this would be pretty nice if they burn 125% longer. But yeah, I don't know if this really worth using just because of this one. And if you see in the gameplay, the especially the shotgunners, and I think from these guys it would be the most important. They, they seem always no not at all burn they not at, they burn not at all so now i could say it right uh, they burn not at all it seems at least like so they just stop for about not even a second and then they run to towards you again so 125 percent longer of not even a second yeah mm. it's not really worth using in my opinion then the, the first one two percent chance to cause an enemy to burn yeah this is pretty nice especially with a high fire rate weapon definitely and could be pretty nice in PvP as well. Uh, it's like the same than Intense. Intense is one of my favorite talents with this build. I always support the builds in general for PvP. And the middle one, Burning Targets, that's the main reason why I don't use this. Burning Targets can cause a fire explosion when killed or once every 10 seconds. So yeah, they burn almost all the time, so this happens uh, at if you're in a fight all 10 seconds and the explosion is pretty huge the range so that happens very o that it happens very often that you are on fire from your own explosion <laughs> and this is kind of stupid in my opinion so you don't have that much burn resistance on this build you don't have pharaohs so you are blocked too if you start to burn and that's why yeah i don't use this at all i don't like the six piece talent on this one that's why i used the inventive to do a little bit more damage as well another option of course would be to use relentless on this one and the one you see here and this one i maxed out as well with burn resistance and yeah this is pretty nice too so for pvp i would definitely recommend to do this one that you have another healing resource and this works pretty well there this backpack so let's go ahead to the weapons. As you see, I use two. One AR assault rifle, the LVOA. The same one, it's not, uh, it's maxed out. Yeah, it's maxed out, sorry. Uh, from a previous build with a determined, destructive and predatory for PV works pretty well too here. And especially, of course, destructive for more damage to the NPCs and predatory to have a healing resource. As you know, I use inventive, not relentless on this run. So that's why I need a source of heal in this build. And this is the weapon I change to this when I need a heal. Uh, it doesn't work with your turret kills, so just have this in mind. You have to kill somebody with your weapon or with the seeker mines. Or with the yeah, with the weapon or the seeker mines that it procs. But 10.2k damage is not that low with almost 900 uh, RPM, so it works pretty well. And if you would re-roll the, the gloves, you would have about 11.5 almost uh, k base damage it's pretty nice i would say for pve at least secondary i'm using is the big alejandro and the big alejandro with 11.4 k base damage with 1049 rpm so that's pretty nice 22 uh, percent damage out of cover two targets out of cover and the talents skilled competent and the cover shooter so for more damage as well then that works pretty pretty nice in my opinion with this build you see it in the gameplay it works really nice and the damage is not that low the only downside of this weapon at least for me on console and with my sometimes potato aim is the recoil sometimes it's really hard to control this baby here and yeah i should change the mod as you see here the, the scope to one with a uh, stability on it as well uh, I do have already stability on the muscle, but not on the scope. And there is a scope where you can reroll two with a main stat to stability. And this I have to do on this gun. Yeah, otherwise I don't think I go with the mods. It's the same as usual. And that's it for the guns. Let's uh, character sheet. I think it's not that Im interesting. Uh, you can ask if you want something to know there in the comment section. I will answer it to you of course and let's go quickly to the abilities of course the flame turret as you see with this setup 21k base damage it's huge so if they start burning the npcs they are down pretty fast and the same of course in pvp 
mods or a really high damage in on this one with my mods and a backpack and almost 70k with my seekers it's pretty nice so they do a lot of damage too and it works it's a pretty nice setup yeah and somebody asked me lately why i don't use this one here the airburst seekers yeah the reason is they are just do not that much damage and they're pretty useless at the moment in my opinion and you have crowd control with your turret as well solo of course i prefer to have recovery link and i used it in my gameplay as well it happens sometimes for my talents here i use a strike pack is this one uh, crit save strike pack then wildfire and death by proxy yeah this is a really nice setup in my opinion of course you have to have wildfire if you use a firecrest build and this one is nice too because you yeah there's many options you have you can destroy a, a skill from an opponent and it increases your skill power by 20% for 30 seconds it's really a lot you would have another option this one here uh, tech support and to increase the duration of your turret works pretty well of course too if you used to be galley this one would be an option too steady hands or even precision if you would like to use your weapon more often to be to deal more damage or on the move or whatever so you're totally free but this is my preferred setup these four yes that's already it for my firecrest build on 1.8 on the pts server let's see if they change something until it's live but at the moment this is really my setup so then thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one bye bye